I'm Dennis Kameri. Perfect weather here in Adelaide. All in all, a good turnout for this particular match. And welcome to my co-commentator and Richmond goal-kicking legend, Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Dennis. Expecting something very special here tonight. The Western Bulldogs sprint onto the field, some extremely on edge. Banners ready for the players. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. Umpire tosses the coin. The Bulldogs winning the toss. Only one of these teams in the eight. Coming off a string of wins. By contrast, coming off a string of losses. The siren is yet to sound. They say all things come to those who wait. But I'm starting to wonder if anyone will be around to hear it. Ah, the sound of the first bounce. There is no glory in practice. But without practice, there is no glory. Knocks it down in front. Moves it quickly by hand. Walker, not phased by the pressure, gets his kick away. Hits the running man. Umpire not hesitating to call the ball up right there. Big thump from Jacobs. Picking a good crummer. The ball mopped up. Batted down nicely by Gibbs. And he's heading for home. Gibbs just gets it through. That's his first. The first goal of the match. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. More bounce than a dodgy check. Good tap from Jacobs. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Jacobs directs it down. Wall up call. Batted down nicely by Jacobs. Daniel with the kick. Wow, some of his heads border on felonious assault. Spilled by Yong. Campbell gathers it. Exclamation point. How about that? The ball goes over the boundary on the wing. Both Ruckman standing their ground. Jacobs wins the tap. Terrible timing by Roughhead. He's got the footy in his hands. Walker with the mighty fist. Biggin dishes it off by hand. Nicely intercepted by Smith. Jacobs decisively. Liberatore onto the ball. Puts boot to ball. Takes the mark all by himself. Campbell is a great mark on the lead, but he can sometimes get worked under the ball in the contest. If he can lift his overhead capability, he will be a star. Gets the loose ball. Sloan with the tap. Jacobs picks it up. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Choose to kick it. A good mark under the circumstances. Suckling slams it on the boot. Nice mark there. 50 metres out. Ruffhead aiming for the goals. Ruffhead gets the goal from a long way out. The Bulldogs slot their first one. All is in readiness. The bounce. Jacobs really wears his heart on his sleeve. Puts boot to ball. He takes the contested mark. Sending it on its way. Rough head with real good use of the body. Sending it on its way. The mark will be paid. Suckling puts his boot on it. He gets the upper hand. Brown puts his boot on it. He wins the contested mark. Boots it. Laird marks on the run. Laird is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. He marks the ball. Jenkins kicks it. Strong mark there. Trengove puts his boot on it. He takes the contested mark. Puts boot to ball. That's a mark. Wallace spears the ball. Campbell got under it. Kicks hurriedly. Boyd marks on the run. Boyd kicks hard along the boundary line. Marks. Seedsman with no time to delay with that kick. Hardigan told me recently that he really loves playing for this club and you can really see it in his attitude on the field. 
I think he's going to play for this club for a long, long time. Sloan getting some power behind that one. Adams puts his boot on it. The mark will be paid. Smith slams it on the boot. Nice mark there. Laird kicks it. Jacobs with the ball. Choose to kick it. Marked by Talia. Slams it on the boot. A great effort. Gibbs taking aim. 45 metres out. Gibbs shoots it. The goal for the Crows. A one-goal lead for Adelaide. All is in readiness. Both rucks have a fair shot at this one. O'Brien gets the tap. Walker taps it. Who was that to? The ball bounced favorably for Suckling. Smith hand passes. Talia bumped off the ball. Hands like dinner plates. Gibbs will need to pull something special out here. Gibbs kicks for goal. It looked like a goal, but it grazed the post. Adelaide by seven points. Trengert has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Was that a throw? I think it was. Lining up the goal now. 25 meters out. McGavin on the tightest of angles. The kick just clears the line for a goal. That's two in a row for the Crows. Adelaide lead the Bulldogs. The Rucks can't complain about that true bounce. O'Brien gets the tap. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Kicks to the square. A big run to take that mark. Slams it on the boot. The mark is taken by Laird. Laird is quite clean, picking up the ball on the half volley. He lines it up with the goal. Sending it on its way. Good mark. Morris puts his boot on it. He takes a strong mark. Sending it on its way. Adams marks it. Keeps it close to the ground. Wallace has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Gets boot to high. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. He got a hold of that one. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Boyd takes a low stab kick. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. 30 metres out. McLean will avert his paycheck if he converts this one. Nice kick. McLean sinking his first goal. Two goals will sink the Bulldogs in the lead. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Look at that bounce. Campbell with a big fist on it. Gets a handball away. With the ball now. Hits the running man. Good tap from Jenkins. Umpire calls for the ball. Campbell really gets onto this one. Able to grab it on the half volley. Kicks it. Great grab. Bumps the big skin. Ball over the boundary line. Throw in from the boundary line. The umpire's throw is a good one. O'Brien hits it. Plenty to analyze from the first quarter, Richo. They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second rate. Richo has some stats for us now. Marks are fairly close on the scoreboard with the Western... The second quarter has begun. Football doesn't build character, it reveals it. Jacobs gets the tap. Tap by Walker. He's got the footy in his hands. Gets it away in the nick of time. Over the years, he's forged his reputation on courage and smelling salts. Well, it looks like the game may be over for Dalhouse. Out of bounds, near the 50. Dalhouse off. Breathing like Tony Soprano. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Daniel, looking like a Manchester United player, scoops up the bouncing ball. Opportunity now for Johannesson, 50 metres from home. The ball is slammed towards goal by Johannesson. Seedsman with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. This will certainly test him from this distance. McLean marks it. 35 metres out. Gets boot to high. Johannesson just gauging which way that wind is blowing. Going for goal number one. Chalk up a goal for the Bulldogs. Johannesson kicks his first. The Bulldogs trail by less than a goal. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Tapped by Roughhead. Able to grab it on the half volley. The ball in the hands of Blair. He gets the hand pass. 
McLean is capable in a negating role, but he will need to ensure he's checking his opponent very tightly. Hardigan is bumped off the ball. Cheney gets the bouncing ball. Laird with great hands. Puts boot to ball. Jenkins marks the ball. He kicks the ball. Great hands. Lining up the goal now. Kicks. Button with an easy mark. 40 metres from home. Jams it on the boot now. He steadies now in front of goal. 40 metres out. He's on a 30 degree angle. Gibbs getting accustomed to kicking goals. Adelaide by seven points. Gibbs is a very intelligent guy. He always seems to make the right decisions no matter what's happening on field around him. He's got the football now. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. Jenkins has got a decent leap on him but there's still some room for improvement. Puts boot to ball. Suckling with real good use of the body. Sending it on its way. McRae takes the mark. He kicks the ball. The mark will be paid. Sending it on its way. He gets it under pressure. Brown slams it on the boot. A good mark under the circumstances. Boots it. Taken by Smith. Picks it across the ground. Takes that one strongly. Picked by Blair. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Morris has no problems mopping up the loose ball. Mistakes are rare for him. He gets boot to the ball. Talia with great hands. Puts boot to ball. Sloan marks it. He slams that on the boot. He takes the contested mark. Looks like he panicked there. Smith looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Not a pretty drop pump, but it gets away okay. Intercepted. Nice interception. Morris has the ball. The umpire calls advantage. Out of bounds in the pocket. Boundary umpire will throw it in. You can see the determination on the Ruckman's faces. Hit by Jacobs. Picked up under pressure. Like working in a telephone box. Look at him go. Jenkins taps. He collects the loose ball. Lobs the handball. Walker going for number one. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. The Crows by eight points. Well, fortune favours the brave. It's time the Western Bulldogs stopped playing safe with their possession and took the game on. Walker just wanted it more then. Warkek with the shot. The huge kick makes it through the goals. Adelaide lead the Bulldogs. Umpire has the ball ready for the centre bounce. Tap to advantage. Like the song says, don't you just need someone to show? And the mark will be paid. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably the mind messes up more shots than the body. Distance could be the problem. An ideal position to be kicking from. He kicks it. Gun barrel straight. That's number four. Gibbs with that kick has increased the lead. Gibbs is one of the most astute decision makers in the game. Footy is becoming more and more a thinking game. And you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. Wins the hard ball. Sends it on its way. A solid mark from Morris. The Bulldogs just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. McLean takes the mark. McLean thumps the ball for goal. That play is as high-tech as it can for. He's running hot, Richard. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. Sloan kicks it, takes it well. He kicks quickly. Nice mark there. Keeps it close to the ground. Nice hands. Jacobs feeds it wide. McCray marks. McCray has no problems mopping up the loose ball. Mistakes are rare for him. Wallace boots it. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. Hunter kicks it. Jong with the ball. Sending it on its way. Sloan takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. Nice mark there. Jams it on the boot now. It's Edward Scissorhands. With the ball now. Has it now. Jacobs working like a bricklayer who gets paid by the row. Otten with a big bump to Liberatore. Roughhead with the interception. Sweeping handball. Chip kick along the wing. The Bulldogs trailing by 20. They have a lot to think about after the first half. The Bulldogs need to have a look at themselves during the break. They are struggling in all departments and really need someone to step up and spark them into action in this second half.
Richo has some stats for us now. The Western Bulldogs stats not reflecting their poor effort. The third quarter has begun. They've come out from the long break and hopefully they have agreed upon the price they must pay for success. Doing this enables teams to ignore the minor hurts, the opposition pressure and the temporary failures. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Walker with the shot. Trengert with the mark. Let's put to ball. Morris alone for the uncontested mark. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. If the Bulldogs' forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50, they just need to be given a shot. Campbell slams the ball to his boot. Picked by Atkins. That kick was asking a bit much of Smith. Right now he looks like a man in a darkened room trying to discover where all the furniture is. Jams it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Kicks the skin off it. Hands like dinner plates. Pickin puts the ball in the hands of fate. Tapped by Walker. Laird gathers it. Hand passes. He's heading for home. Goes by hand. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. 25 metres out. Golden opportunity here. That's three in a row for the Crows. Adelaide with the ascendancy over the Bulldogs, leading the match 44 to 18. Jacobs punches it. The ball in the hands of Sloan. An under 12's handball would have put him to shame then. That was a terrible mistake. Puts boot to ball. He gets above the crowd. 50 metres out. Smith will avert his paycheck if he converts this one. 40 metres from home. Going for goal number three. A goal for the Crows. Walker with that kick has increased the lead. Adelaide could score the last four goals. The Crows over. The Bulldogs by 32. The bounce straight down. One down by Jacobs. Controlled by Morris. Wallace with the football. Young with the mark. Jong is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. Laird with good strong hands. He slams that on the boot. It's a mark. Smith with the kick, he grabs it, puts boot to ball, great hands, Gibbs taking aim, 45 metres out, he's looking to add another, Gibbs slots the goal, he's kicked a bag of five, not a bad result, both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball, here we go, Jacobs with a big fist on it, you wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alleyway, Laird taken high and he'll get the free kick, Laird feeds it wide. Gibbs takes it well. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. Gibbs takes a shot at goal. An easy interception for Walker. He controls the bouncing ball. Adelaide in front. Trengert gets set to kick it back in. Plays onto himself. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Umpire not hesitating to call the ball up right there. Jacobs guides it. A favourable bounce. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Ruffett wasn't even close to that tap and he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win any time soon. He's searching for his teammates. Trenger kicks to himself. Puts boot to ball. Liberatore claims it. The Bulldogs just can't find a free man inside 50 and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. He gets boot to the ball. Strong mark there. Sending it on its way, Hunter takes a contested mark. He kicks the ball, he takes a strong mark, he boots it. Wallace wins the contested ball. Sends the Sharon on its way, Young up. Picture perfect drop punt, takes it well. Kicks, couldn't hold on to the mark. Tap by Young. Has it now. He picks up the loose ball. Interception. Wallace has so much potential. He could just be anything. He clears the ball. Smith takes possession. Crouch marks the ball. He boots it. Jacobs with the mark. He boots it. Kept his composure then. He kicks the ball. That's a nice strong mark. 50 metres out. Smith with quite a challenge in front of him. Smith manages to sneak it through. He sinks his first goal. This kick stretches the lead. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The ball has been bounced. 
Clean tap by Jacobs. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young, lethal Lee Matthews. Behind posts should be cowering in fear. Jacobs gets a less than pretty drop putt away. Crouch trimming the grass with that kick. Roberts is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. He slams that on the boot. Kept his composure then. Kelly puts his boot on it. Great hands. He kicks the ball. Rough head. Just the better man in that contest. Jams it on the boot now. Nice mark under pressure. Crouch grabs that one. Sends the Sharon on its way. Don't take too long lining up the goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. McLean with the shot. And the risk pays off. Goal. The second goal for McLean. The Western Bulldogs should really pack up and go home at this stage. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Batted down nicely by Jacobs. Gets the loose ball. Roughhead gathers. Roughhead aims for his man on the ground. Low spearing kick. The opposition forgot about him and he takes the easy mark. The Western Bulldogs haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. McLean taking aim. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. The effort is still there but it might be too late to do anything with it. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the centre bounce. The Bulldogs with a lot to think about as they trail by 34. They call it the Premiership quarter and Adelaide made the most of their momentum well and truly swinging it their way. I can't wait to see if they can maintain it in the last. Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? The stats are close, but the scores are very different. Uh, that's a unique spin on things, Richo. It's almost over now. Push yourself again and again. Don't give an inch until the final siren sounds. He has the ball. Has it now. Morris throws it. Clear as day. Bumps the pigskin. A good mark under the circumstances. Walker slams it on the boot. The mark is taken by Gibbs. 40 minutes from home. An ideal position to be kicking from. Gibbs scores with a beautiful kick. They increase their lead. That could be the final nail in the coffin. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. A dead straight bounce. Jacobs wins the tap. Terrible timing by Roughhead. With no time to spare, he gets the ball away. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. He's got the football now. Laird has it. Works it across the ground. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Here he is going for goal number seven. Perfect kick. Gibbs getting them further in front. That's two in a row for Adelaide. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Bounce goes the ball. Guided by Jacobs. Good tap from Walker. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. The ball mopped up. Wood with the tap. Good tap from Adams. Crouch with the mighty fist. Wood goes back to collect the ball. A free kick. And several tick. Jams it on the boot now. Betts has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Betts doesn't need to run to every contest because he's just so great at reading the play. He can play a kick ahead or behind the play and still rack up possessions. He slams that on the boot. Good mark. Sends it on its way. A good mark under the circumstances. Kicks. Nice mark there. Hastily kicked. Nice hands. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Laird with the tap. Wallace with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. And we have a ball up. Hit by Roughhead. Brown controls. Hunter gets the kick off before his pole axe by Sloan. Jacobs collects. Gets boot to leather. The advantage is played. Crouch. It's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. A nice contested mark. Wallace puts his boot on it. Rough head. Takes the mark. He gets boot to the ball. It's a mark. Sloan kicks it. The mark by Suckling. He kicks inside 50. The mark is taken by Seedsman. Boots it. Great grab. A short handball.
Jacobs feeds it wide. Adams' delusions of grandeur. Very quiet by his standards. A solid mark from Pickett. Pickett sends one up towards the wing. Hunter has it. Hunter has no trouble getting up on top of the packs, but sometimes he just can get his timing wrong. If he doesn't lift, I think it'll come to the stage where the coach will ask him to be a bit more disciplined in the contest. Jacobs intercepts the bouncing ball. It'll be a ball up on the outer wing. Ruffhead hardly provided a challenge. He collects the loose ball. Wallace on the ball at the moment. They're looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Nice mark under pressure. Booted by Jacobs. Sloan got under it. Works it across the ground. He misses the mark. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. Couldn't complete the mark. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Going for goal number two. The biggest danger here is that they'll run out of time to turn this around. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. More bounce than a dodgy check. Jacobs is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Campbell. Laird goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several tick. Laird feeds it wide. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Adams needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. The umpire wants to throw it in. O'Brien hits it. O'Brien has the football. Campbell outstretches his opponent to win the right. Lucky bounce collected. Handballs from the tackle. A short handball. He asks for it back. Booted by O'Brien. Takes the mark all by himself. Slams it on the boot. Sloan grabs that one. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. O'Brien is just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Betts goes for goal. That's a goal. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Campbell with the punch. Wallace pounds it long to his teammates. Batted down nicely by Sloan. O'Brien is able to grab it on the half volley. O'Brien with a perfect drop punt. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Puts boot to ball. No one troubling him there. Millerer can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Smith with the kick. Gibbs with good strong hands. Gibbs shoots for goal. Gibbs, he has sunk that from a long way out. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Good bounce. Effective hit out there. Lucky bounce collected. Sloan is an absolute ball magnet. McCray feeds it wide. Not the most exciting match, no real competition between the teams. Disappointing. Grass grows, birds fly, waves pound the sand, and the Crows beats teams up. At the end of the game, the scores are the Crows, 88, Western Bulldogs, 36. That's it for us. I will see you again, but not yet. Not yet.